Right, just for you, Garone. Just for you. We will talk about the Eye of Magnus. And so help me God, Garone, if you don't force everyone around you to like this video, because I'm a whore for likes. I may have to hold my Eek hostage in the green room again, and Talos only knows what can happen to my Eek when he's left in the green room for too long. So let's answer one of those questions you all obviously want to know because who doesn't like learning information on something that's been out for nearly 7 years? The Eye of Magnus is a bit of an ongoing debate amongst Elder Scrolls scholars on what is firmly thought on what it really is and where it came from and all that shenanigans. This Eye has been part of some huge chunks of Elder Scrolls history and plays a big part in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. But what is it and how powerful is the Eye? Well for this video I'm going to teach you the bare bones of information you need to know so you don't need to go scouring the Elder Scrolls books or seeing what's up on the wikis. This is a compiled chunk of information and I think there is no better way to describe it. So without further ado my friends, you leave this on for that lovely background noise and make sure to throw some questions in the comment section on what you would maybe like to get answered. If you learned something new, leave a like and if you didn't, leave a dislike or don't, I don't really care. But let's delve right into the question of topic, how powerful is the Eye of Magnus. Let's do some history on the artifact first, so you all know exactly what we are talking about here. So from what we know with the current knowledge gathered in the Elder Scrolls games, the Eye of Magnus is a giant spherical artifact that holds an astronomical amount of power. Thank you Tufler for teaching me that glorious word. The artifact itself can be seen in Skyrim when doing the College of Winterhold questline as you come across it quite quickly after you go to excavate the city of Sarthal with the rest of the college. Hidden deep within this city, the eye is floating there surrounded by a field of protective magic. If you do a bit of digging into the history of Sarthal itself, you will discover an origin story that I find quite interesting. I talked about this in an earlier video I did a couple of weeks ago, but Sarthal was the first city founded by the Nords, or the Atmorans I should say, when they came over. It's recorded that the Atmorans found something in this city that was so powerful, they felt they had to keep it a secret. I think what we are looking at right now is that very thing, and this artifact is probably the reason the Snow Elves ended up being driven to near extinction by the two you meet in the Dongar DLC. The Night of Tears, the recorded event where the Snow Elves massacred Sarthal and killed almost all the Admorans who came over to Skyrim, they did that to try and get their hands in this powerful object. However, we all know how that eventually went for the Snow Elves, of course. Thank you, Iskramor. But obviously, the city became abandoned and the excavation you go on in Skyrim is the first time the Eye of Magnus comes into contact with anybody since the whole Sarthal debacle. So we know that this is a powerful artifact and we know where it came from in terms of the mortal lands. Obviously the artifact itself comes from Magnus, the god of magic. It's a 2 plus 2 situation. But how powerful is the Eye of Magnus? So let's take a look at how the Eye of Magnus was used in Skyrim's college questline and judge the power of this object from there. During this questline we get to see two powerful Magicka artifacts, the Eye of Magnus and the Staff of Magnus. Both of these artifacts are incredibly powerful, and when I say that I truly do mean that. This is no Staff of Chaos or Amulet of Kings. The Staff in terms of gameplay has 17 charges with a whopping 5000 charge power and absorbs up to 20 Magicka per second from an enemy, and if that enemy runs out of magicka, it starts to steal their life force. This staff was created to absorb the power within any living thing or object, but we will come back to the staff in a bit. Trust me, it has a part to play. So the Eye of Magnus is transported to the College of Winterhold, where later in the game the Thalmor antagonist Ancono attempts to tap into the Eye's power to I guess take over Tamriel or some crap maybe. We know how it plays out and ultimately Ancono is killed by you and the College and the Sigic order comes and takes away the powerful artifact. But let's take Ancano's interactions with the eye into consideration. When Ancano taps into the eye's power and you see the college from the front, you see nothing but a giant maelstorm of magic surrounding the college. This wave of magic is so unstable and so powerful it completely wipes the college from the world map. It's like tears of reality are fighting amongst one another. Alongside this pure essence of magicka becomes physical and all over Tamriel these tears 
servers are opening up and releasing these magic anomalies or anomalies which are causing havoc to the surrounding areas you will take out a lot of them before your time with skyrim is over if you enjoy radiant quests trust me it's almost like two different realities are starting to collide with one another you have to remember when magnus left the plane of mundus to go back to ethereum during the creation of everything he tore a hole in the big wide open space this hole was what allowed the sun and oblivion to gain access to everything but that's a different story so anything to do with magnus usually ends up in reality tearing itself somewhere when you manage to get to Uncano, he is able to become invincible however there is one thing that you can weaken the eye with the staff of magnus this staff is able to absorb magicka from the eye faster than Uncano can tap into it this staff was literally created to devour magicka so it's able to handle the eye but this allows you to defeat Ankano. When you defeat him, the Psychic Order comes and tells you the artifact has come to be too powerful for this world to handle, and you will probably end up destroying the world in a rupture of Magicka if you and the college keep fiddling with it. So they do what they do best. They vanish alongside the artifact. Nobody in the right mind has any idea where the Psychic Order went or took this artifact, but obviously with the confident voices and the way they act, they have it under control. So you have an artifact that can destroy the world. It's literally a nuke of magic. So I think the eye is pretty damn powerful, don't you? So alongside the Staff of Chaos or the Amulet of Kings, this artifact makes them look like pea shooters. Let's be honest. This is one hell of a powerful artifact and god forbid the Ron Hands ever gets on it man. But what do you think about the power of the artifact? And what other powerful artifacts do you want to look into next time? I would love to know what you guys think about the whole thing and would you like to see the eye make an appearance again in the Elder Scrolls 6 or something like that? Who knows man? I guess only time will tell. Wait, Mike, what are you doing floating across the screen? But yeah, that's it for this video and make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed watching i do love making these videos for you guys as always subscribe for more elder scrolls related content and enjoy your day i do hope it's wonderful be it the day week month or year i will see you all next time